week saving Main Street. We've seen many newer businesses struggle and even close throughout the COVID pandemic. Some old ones too. So how is a business that's been around for many decades still making it? We go just 15 miles north, Columbia Heights, right in the middle of everything. And the old Heights Theater, right on Central Avenue Northeast. That's the Main Street in Columbia Heights. Heights Theater building was built in 1926 by Glick's Brewery heir, Arthur Glick. The building started as a prohibition real estate venture. It eventually became a movie theater. Current owner took over in 1998, restored it to its original look. And it's still home to the original WCCO pipe organ that was used as far back as 1929 in live radio shows, used in TV. Great history, but what about the future? Aaron Hassan said a live inside the Heights Theater with the owner and a plan for staying open for many years to come. Aaron. Yeah, Jason, this is a really cool place. I have to mention the breakfast sandwich at Miller's was awesome, and I ate half of it, but we're just a few minutes away from Miller's, but we really have traveled back in time to this incredible theater. And like you said, we have the owner, Tom Letness, here with us. Tom, tell me about um, what types of films you show and how you've restored this place to its former glory. Okay, sure. Um, normally, pre-COVID, we did a combination of first-run films, and uh, classic film series. As a matter of fact, last year, this upcoming weekend, we were just getting ready to open Downton Abbey, which was like one of the biggest films I had last year. Um, this year, um, I'm just doing my classic film series, and that's because there just really is not a whole lot of new product yet that's available to be showing. Yeah, no. It's a good time to be showing classic films yes. with nothing yep. new coming out yep. or not. And much. I am very lucky because I have a very dedicated audience that I've built over the years for classic film series. So they've been doing very well. And so I've been super happy about that. Yeah, this is definitely a destination, like the, yes. the interior and the nostalgia of it. Yep. I, th I think people probably come from far and wide to come see it. They do. I have a lot of local support from Columbia Heights, but I also have many, many people that travel from all over the metro areas. I have had people travel, if they've seen that I'm showing a particular film, I had one guy come from Portland Oh to gosh. see a particular film, so, yeah. Wow, tell me how you're keeping customers safe, how business has been. You're operating at limited capacity. Yep, so we're at 25% capacity, which is about 60 people per show. Um, when you come in the door, um, we have a grid of the auditorium that we have blocked out. So if you come in, um, we assign you a seat. If you're with a group, you can sit together, but if you do not know someone or if you're not familiar with them, by assigning you a seat, we make sure that you are at least six feet away from somebody else. Um, I also put um, MER 13 filters in my air handler system. So we run the air handler throughout the whole film, or as soon as we open, as soon as people are in the building. And so that filters the air. Yeah. And um, uh, everyone has to wear a mask. The only exception is I will make an exception if you're eating concessions. Right, some popcorn. You need it yep. for a movie, right? But we really stress that when that is over, you put the mask back on. As a fact, I have a little PSA that I show before the film that emphasizes that. Yeah. So. And your mask has the DQ logo on it. That's yep. because you own the Dairy Queen. Yep. That's just a, you know, right next door. You That's can walk right. and grab a yep. treat. So okay. I own the DQ next door, which really has helped me a lot this year because um, we closed here on March 17th and we didn't reopen until July 1st. And um, so having the DQ next door, which used to have a small lobby in it, but I turned it back into a walk-up store. And it's worked great all summer long. Fantastic. Tom, yep. thank you so much. We have sure. to get to Ed because, Jason, we promised you guys some organ music and we're going to give it to you. Ed, play us a little something, Ed. <laughs> I love it. It's fun, right, Jason? It's, it's a so time great. To be showing classic movies too. That's yes, perfect. I wonder is. if it, we will. Uh, I wonder, Aaron, if Ed can just keep playing while Riley does the weather. We could have like organ accompanying the weather here. It'd be like old time TV. I like it. <laughs> It's perfect. He does the dramatics and everything for silent movies, so I'm sure he could give you a little something for the weather. Very good. All right, we'll keep we'll keep that music up. Aaron, thank you. Thanks to the Heights Theater. Riley, here you go. Take it away with a little I a little background. I feel music. like I need to be like.